Hey fellow YouTubers, this is 1984RX7350 finally getting done my hobby room. Now it's not done totally the way I want it to be done yet as there will be a wall put across from here to over there with a door but for now, as money's tight I have to do what I gotta do and I got a newborn coming here any day so it's a scramble <laughs> Anyways, I'll just go through and show you some of the stuff I got. All my kits are out in the area. There's my two hobby desks that I build at. So now I have room uh, with two lights working. I also have my glues, my brushes, and thinners, and I have spare more cutting board, uh, working light with helmets with lights on and magnifying glass as well if I need. Uh, all my new tins up all over as you can see Chevy truck ones and more of my kits as this is my oh there's my trucks up top and my other kits as you can see all mine up there and some more trucks next row Chevy's here one ton dooleys the vans, Toyota pickups, and S10s, and some Dodges that I have, rare ones. I also have kits down here, which I don't have shells for yet, but I will get. All my racing, my uh, Mustangs, just the older coupes and so on, and the older Chevy Muscles and Oldsmobile Pontiacs, some Impalas. The Buick in Monte Carlo, Grand Nationals, uh, Berettas, Pontiacs, Cadillacs. As you can see, you will have the 59 Cadillac here, uh, Nomads, Bel Airs, uh, the Dodge Chargers, Challengers, and Cudas, and the El Caminos and Rancheros. And over on this side, up top, is my Camaros and Firebirds, which I have lots of them. As you can see, new to old Corvettes, Fieros, police cars, a couple I have, the Ghostbusters. Uh, this one is a Datsun in that one as well, as it came in the RX-7s, which I love, and my other imports. You see quite a few there, Toyotas. These two rare kits, really extreme rare. Um, then I have my big kits up here, my 57 Chevy Bel Air, my semis, my trailers. Uh, the Mad Max is here because it's a bigger kit and rare trailer thing. A boat, uh, more trailers. As you can see, all the different axle ones. The car hauler trailer, plus there's a car hauler trailer in this one. This is not an original box, 125th scale, the newer one, transport. Um, hmm. Then I have my soldering gun, uh, the RX-7 I was working on before, which is in the tub, still it's been months, almost years since I've been working on it. And uh, extra knife blades, big deal, light, blues, uh, tweezers, all that, markers, cutting pad, and in here is just extra stuff like q-tips, uh, knives, sticks, all that kind of stuff. And in this drawer is more extra supplies and weathering stuff and detailers and more glues and alcohol, rubbing alcohol if I need, more liquid mask, blue tips. In here is sandpaper and polishing paper. Bottom drawer is just my junk drawer there. Here's more supplies as in uh, Razor knives, sanding stones, my cutting, and all that, paper clips, all that kind of stuff. Not a huge deal. And in this corner, uh, this one's my bare metal foil. Here, I'll turn on the light so you can see. There. And um, tattoos and all different flame decals and everything in here. This pile, more tattoo decals in here, and more for different things if I want to, uh, styles. Uh, and this drawer is all my plastic styrene, a couple extra other soldering guns for melting stuff if I want, but all my styrene supplies. 
and this one is uh, all my flame for uh, airbrushing um, stencils and masks and everything for that kind of stuff and of course my extra drill bit sizes and you've seen this before my extra spare rims and tires fancy ones whole complete sets probably about 50 sets in there uh, this cupboard's full too which I've added that little emblem there uh, this is where all most of my diorama stuff is all my figurines are piled in there deep um, Morse tires and rims up here box is brand new a boat for a diorama uh, electrical white lights are all in here you can't really see it too well there it is all my gas pumps um, just some screws and nuts bolts in these containers motorbikes 125th and 24th scale Harleys couches you know forklift for the shop um, and in here let's move this stuff quickly is just a Fiero collector 184 big deal uh, some more people diorama stuff and then motors for the kit it's like 454s and different ones and down here is my hoist and an extra type hoist uh, my airbrush stuff there so spray cans uh, I have display cases new ones back behind there and then here is my uh, semi accessory kit and my garage shop stuff motor blueprint stuff that kind of stuff and then I have my mirrored motor rotary display and what else oh and then all my extra supplies and everything all just to get an idea how big it is a lot of it sitting there and more stuff up on the wall got all my paints that are not the my airbrush is still out in the garage because I haven't put my window in yet so I'll still airbrush out in the garage which is not the end of the world I have which this big box is the airbrush thing that you guys seen that will be for in here I have my wiring all different types muffler exhaust big, you know extra engines some fancier ones and so on um, this is my light lenses and windshields and that. Uh, custom parts are in here, which is all my neon lights, all my photo etched parts. As you can see, quite a whack of them. Right. Um, what else? More. All my extra metal fins I got into just recently. Here's more custom rims and tires. Many different more sets in there. There's quite a few in there as you can see. These are just my stock factory rims all in here. And then I have my normal slicks tires, rims, dualies, semi tires, all that extra stuff in here. I do have over here all my 4x4 tire sets. Which not as much light over here. But it's here, just three different sets of those and some big monster ones. Uh, and here is just my extra engine kits, those custom ones, different ones, same up here. Uh, these are just tools. I have all my suspension parts in here. I have many more. I have more bodies and frames out in the garage and the attic stored, older ones. Uh, here's all my different seats, all different kits. Extra diorama, more stuff in here, toolboxes, so on, all the goodies like that. Exterior body stuff in here. Interior body stuff like tubs, so on. So I have more than that still. I do have a set of speakers in here, just for now. I'll get it put away later. Uh, frames in here. I do have uh, some monster truck bodies and frames in the packages that belong together to be able to put them back together. I also have bodies in here. All extra bodies. I have some imports, Camaros, Firebirds, so on. I have a couple of them in here. Trucks, as you can see, a little harder there. Get out of the light. All those, some older Fords and so on. And then here's all my flocking, which is every teller they make, plus a few extras that I use. So I have all that. Um, what else do I have? 
Uh, here's all my hoses. Didn't label it. This is for coolant hoses and all that. Um, and I have, let's see, all my license plates, mirrors, jacks, tanks, transmissions, rads, heads, you know, blowers, horns, covers, all that extra. Wheel spinners, uh, so speakers, you know, stuff like that. Subs, speakers, amps, batteries, pumps, as in hydraulic pumps. I have a a lot of parts, so I'm not lacking there. I have a Trans Am up here, it's just a die cast. I have this one ton die cast uh, I was going to use for one of these trailers. Um, and then I have my last car and trailer finally came in the other day from the guy there. Uh, finally, after his first kit I ordered in how long, so I got that to work on and repair. I have the Mobile One tow truck that all works and lights up. Uh, and this is my computer desk, which is in the same room. Big desk, big fancy computer, if you want to call it fancy. It's pretty good, does mean good. Uh, more clock, more signage. Basically all Pontiac Chevys. My favorite, Camaro. Um, of course the Ford trucks are there, up there too here. Um, on the sides, Datsuns, Nissans, all there. Uh, I have love trucks up there too. Um, and then I have the Corvette over here. Um, it's about what I have to say. Um, as you see, and I plan on putting in this big open area in the middle, a big four by eight sheet of plywood on a like a table to make my diorama in the middle. So. Uh, this covers this storage of computer parts and so on. Not much in there, but that's my new work area. Not a big deal, but it is there. I have other stuff. This is where I'm at. So, talk to you guys later.